One of the theories and research I've done is called the rule of three. All industries, when they start in the early days, have massive number of people who jump into the industry. So in the sake of efficiency, industry gets consolidated, either by capital markets or government setting a given standard. Out of this one, ultimately, you see only three players. I've analyzed 150 product industries, and it works like clockwork. In a shopping mall, you see this full-line generalist, JCPenney, Sears, now Macy's, and you see specialty retailers, the Foot Locker or the Benetton. Those guys make money through margin-driven. If you are neither margin competent nor a scale advantage, you will die. So a lot of casualties happen in the industry through shakeout mergers. Three players become dominant. They control 70 to 90% of the capacity, and the rest of them become niche players. Number one and number two will compete for market share. The most innovative company is number three, not number one, number two. They die if they don't innovate, which is why they have to innovate. 